Hello everyone, this is Shinmay from Makeoro Clinic. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to secure your electricals or electronics uh, when you do the servicing uh, and when you do the regular maintenance as uh, you know, even if it is DIY or something, right? So it is mandatory, uh, I should say, right? Uh, specifically people who are staying uh, near the coastal line. Uh, so this information is very much important for them because most of the time what we have seen that they, are, they face a lot of electricals or electronics issue. So to avoid that, what kind of a material can be used? Uh, you know, uh, since nowadays you know that all the bikes are big bikes and costly material, costly electrical, electronics. So it's very um, impossible to, you know, procure immediately and uh, we can say um, cheap, right? So to avoid this uh, damages, what can be done? So let's just check out uh, how to maintain uh, these things proper thoroughly. So guys, just let's just check out the product. I'm just going to show you uh, whether the product is conductive or not not conductive. If it is non-conductive, then of course we'll be requiring this as uh, dielectric grease. Even though costly, but it's still worth to buy because uh, your electricals will be always secured. So I'm going to check it on the metal strip. I'll just use my multimeter on continuity testing. I'll just check it. Well, this is the only way I can check. I don't know about you guys. If you have some other ideas, then very good. Let me just set up the camera for you people. I hope you guys can see clearly. So now, as you can hear, beep sound. So the metal is showing that it's conductive, right? Let's check once again. I'll paste something. I mean, I'll just paste grease on the metal. For testing purpose, I'm using earbud. Let's see. This is very much important and that uh, you should know what you're actually using. A wrong uh, spare part or wrong grease or wrong material can cause a lot of problem. So now we are good to go well, for you know for the work. We'll just start working on the bike. I'll show you how to apply dielectric grease. So now let's just start working on the bike. There's a spark plug. Uh, there's a spark plug cap. Let me just set up the cam once again. So you have to pull the boot. to clean everything properly before applying just use earbud so it will not damage the cap apply it on the surface of the inner diameter of the boot and so on the cap inside the cap as well till the till the point till the metal brass point apply on the spark plug as well on the spark plug cap since this is demonstration so on the spark plug cap you have to apply on the both ends at the both ends and then just press it on the spark plug cap that's it you are done So it will not get corroded, it, it will not have any problem of uh, deposition, it will have good conductivity, so the spark will be perfect. You can also apply on the connectors, this is the FI connector. Just use wooden spatula or something, but make sure you are using very soft material while applying anything on electricals. Electricals should not get damaged. It comes in a generally what I have seen it comes in a uh, uh, 
वाइट कलर ट्रांसपेरेंट वाइट कलर ग्रीस और यू मे सी इन मिल्की वाइट एज वेल येलोइश कलर सो आई हैव टेकन सम अमाउंट ऑफ ग्रीस ऑन द स्पेचुला और ऑन द केक कटिंग नाइफ यू कैन से एंड जस्ट अप्लाई ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द कनेक्टर just on the top of the connector like this don't pour just light amount of filming you have to apply that's it and then you can reconnect the connector so this is how you have to perform while working on bikes to ensure you the bike is in good running condition So thanks for watching guys I hope you have enjoyed this video I hope you like the information what I have shared with you uh, there are so many products available in the market I'm using this one of the best what I found so I'm just using this product so um, you know it it secures a lot uh, and avoid the oxidation and you no know, other damages of the terminals and you know electronics so I hope you like the information thanks for thank you very much for everything and have a great day